Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review and another giveaway. Today I have another pen donated by James Times. I just did the review of the Lamy Safari he gave me the other day. You can see that video review right here. Those of you that follow my channel might remember me asking for suggestions about which pen I should buy next. I had a number of choices and one was the Caveco Sport. I put that pen on the list not because I like tiny pocket pens, but because it is so often recommended by fountain pen lovers, I thought it would be interesting to try. Just like the Safari, the Caveco Sport has a large and devoted following. Well, lo and behold, James gifted me not one, but three and a half Caveco Sports. Two black bodies, two green bodies, a clip, and three nibs in extra fine, fine, and medium. He challenged me to make the pieces into one Caveco Sport I liked. And I did just that. I'm going to give away the other two full pens to two lucky subscribers. Come watch how I put all the parts together into one little pen, and you'll find out how to win one of these Caveco Sports right now. So here we are with the Caveco Sport parts that James so kindly donated to me and my channel. Thank you, James, for your generosity. I decided I liked the green better than the black, which surprised me because I'm not that fond of green. So I mentioned that he gave me three and a half uh, Caveco Sports, and here are the three. Uh, the half one didn't have a section or a nib, but had uh, a green body. And of course, there were two green bodies and two black bodies and black sections and three nibs. And the three nibs were an extra fine, this one, a fine and a medium. The extra fine writes like a sewing machine needle and the fine nib isn't that much better. Some people like those really, really thin lines. Uh, I'm more of a medium fan myself. So I pulled the medium nib from one of the black pens and swapped it with the green pen and added the clip. And so I ended up with one green medium Caveco Sport. What I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, provide some measurements, and then do a writing sample. And stay tuned after the writing sample where I'll discuss what I like and what I don't like so much about this pen and let you know how you can win one of these two Caveco Sports. Although the Caveco Company of Nuremberg, Germany has been around since 1883, as is emblazoned on the gold clip, the Pocket Sport was first mentioned in a catalog in 1911 as a, quote, pocket fountain pen for ladies, officers, and sportsmen, unquote. This particular design was actually born around 1935. The Caveco pocket writing instrument has been extremely popular and successful for about 85 years and has been made in ballpoint, rollerball, gel pen, mechanical, and clutch pencils, as well as the fountain pen versions. There are metal versions and versions with some pretty cool acrylic resins, as well as carbon fiber. At first glance, it is very small, as to be expected uh, from a pocket pen. Similar to my Pilot Elite or E95S, Caveco Sport makes the cap a lot longer than the barrel uh, to make it a pocket size. This version is made from very sturdy injection molded plastic. From the top, we see a gold colored medallion on the finial with the Caveco logo. I'm guessing the name Caveco is a contraction of the two founders' names, Heinrich Cook and Rudolf Weber. The cap starts circular, but then blends into an octagonal shape. And it has the name of the model of the pen, Caveco Sport, on one of the flatted sides in a gold-filled script, and then blends back into a circular design at the end of the cap. The gold-colored clip is removable, and not included with the pen. It is available for separate purchase for an additional five bucks. The pen itself sells for around $25 US. Because the clip is removable, you could have one clip that you could swap among all your various sports. The clip is very springy and usable and has 
Kaveco on the clip itself, as well as the Kaveco logo on both sides since 1883 on both sides, and Germany. The barrel is straight for its entire length, and there is a line in the plastic right here, and then a small ribbed cap on the end, which is slightly domed with a center divot and made in Germany and two dots molded into the end. I'm not sure what the two dots mean. It looks to me like the barrel might be manufactured in three separate parts. And that's a join there, and then there's a join there. I'm not sure. The cap unscrews with slightly over one turn, which is good, to reveal the tiny, thin, plastic, concave-shaped section and the tiny gold-plated steel nib. The nib has some scroll work on it, the Kaveco logo, and an M for medium. And there is the plastic feed. It also has a Kaveco logo on it. Nibs for the Kaveco Sport are available in 14 karat gold and steel, in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad, and also in calligraphy nibs in 1.1, 1.5, 1.9, and 2.3 millimeters. The nib and feed on the Classic Sport are friction fit and must be pulled out like that. Whereas other models of the Sport actually have a uh, nib unit that you can screw in. The barrel unscrews to reveal a mini cartridge converter, branded Kaveco, and it is a push piston style. This converter does not come with the pen, but a, a single standard international short cartridge does come with the pen. This converter is available for around $6. The barrel and the section are both plastic, so with a good amount of silicone grease on these threads, you can use this pen as an eyedropper. As a knockabout travel kind of pen, though, I'm not sure I'd risk that. The cap posts deeply and securely, of course, but you can actually write with this pen unposted. It's not too short. I wouldn't think it would be comfortable for a long writing session, but in a pinch for a jotted note or something like that, it isn't difficult. The posted pen feels complete and well-balanced in the hand. The pen is very light. I expect the brass version isn't. The section is way too small in length and girth for me, but it is possible to adjust your grip on this pen. I found it isn't uncomfortable to write with. And now let's look at some size comparisons. And here we are with the Kiveco Sport. And this is a Moonman ADS. My Pilot E95S, or Elite. A Delike New Moon. And a Pilot Metropolitan. You can see that the the Sport isn't actually the smallest of the group. The Moonman 80 is. But uh, these pens are all fairly small compared to the Metropolitan. Now let's look at them posted. So here we are with the five pens posted. And you can see that the Moonman and the Caveco Sport are almost exactly the same length. Moonman a little bit smaller. Uh, the uh, E95S posts into a fairly uh, regular size pen. It's one of the reasons I love this pen. The Delike New Moon, I put the cap on there, but it doesn't really stay on there. It doesn't really post. And of course, the, the Metro posts very nicely, but it's the longest of the group. Now let's look at some measurements, and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper. And this is the Caveco Sport. It's 
green. And it is a medium steel nib. And the ink today is Robert Oakster. Astra Kiza. Olive. And let's check the wetness. It's relatively wet for a small nib. It's very pleasant. And here is the swatch for the Ostrakiza Olive. And next to Hiroshizuku Chikurin and Robert Oster Shadow. As to line variation, you push the pen, it doesn't give you much. It's a tiny nib, so it's not going to flex much. And as to reverse writing, it does do it. It's not very scratchy. I've had the pen open for a while, so it dried out a bit. But actually, it's writing in reverse, and you get a nice thin line. So a nice contrast there. And some quick writing. Keeps up very, very nicely. Now, what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, I didn't know whether to like this pen or not. After writing with a pen, I always ask myself, will this pen get cleaned out of its ink and put in my storage binder? That's usually a good indication that I'm not fond of the pen. I thought that that might happen to this pen, or at least it would be kept out on display for use as a size comparison pen like the Safari, the Metropolitan, and my Sonnet. However, this is a very functional and practical pen. I can see me tucking this in my satchel with a notebook when I'm going to the lake to read or write or when I'm traveling. <laughs> It's rugged, well-built, and reasonably priced for its utility. Even though I can get a Safari for around the same price, the Sport is worth the money because of its diminutive size and its practicality. Yes, the nib and the section are small, but I found a way to comfortably write with this pen. That's not something I can say about the Safari. I can see how people love these little pens. I can imagine actually shelling out some dollars to acquire either a brass model or that super cool stonewashed metal version. If I could get it for under 50 bucks, that is. So what do I not like about this pen? Well, everything I don't like about this pen is a feature of the pen designed to make it light, durable, and portable. It is small, and I don't like small pens. But given the choice of carrying a Moonman M800, or the Kaweco Sport in a backpack or a satchel attached to my little travel notebook, I think I'd go with the Sport. I'm not going to say I dislike this pen at all. In fact, for what it is, I really like it. I might have to buy a broad nib for it. And there you have it. The Kaweco Sport in a nice Kelly Green. If you'd like to win one of these two black Kaweco Sports, all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel and post a comment on this video. You can comment about anything, except my guitar fingernails, of course. That's off limits. 
and you will be entered into the draw. Exactly a week from today, I'll draw two comments at random and post the winners in a pinned comment here and on my community tab. The winners have one week to contact me by email with their address, and I'll send the pen off to you. If, of course, mail goes to your country at the moment. The first person selected will have the option to pick either the extra fine or the fine, and the second person will get the other. Sucks to be slow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get an instant notification when there's a new video posted. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.